My next guest is a dear friend of anyone who's ever listened to radio or watched television. And it might be a fair chance that Jack will say something about a NBC special that's, that's coming up that uh, I was on and a lot of great people. Would you welcome, please, Mr. Jack Benny. <laughs> Johnny, I, I didn't kiss you tonight because I have a cold. Did you have a little, uh, you have a touch of that London flu you going around? You never kiss anyway. <laughs> but you look great. Somebody said you were, thought you were coming down with the I flu. I thought you were... I was coming down with the flu, and I almost didn't make it tonight. Well, I'm glad. I know you... one thing. Yeah. I will never dress like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Although it'll be easier for me because I because I walk like one. You know what I mean? You do have a little gait there. Yeah, that's but I wouldn't uh, dress like a policeman because I couldn't whip anybody. You know? <laughs> well, you did Charlie's aunt. Yeah. Remember you had. Well, to I did up. Charlie's aunt. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you when I did dress like a woman. You remember when Gracie Allen retired? Absolutely. I remember the show you're talking about. I dressed like Gracie, and I worked with George Burns. Right. And all I had to do was wear high heels because I can wear lady shoes. And I walked exactly like Gracie. And I talked like her. And we did a whole show, a whole scene where I played Gracie Allen. I remember it was one of the great shows of all times. And I looked beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and you still do. Uh, we had fun the other night uh, taping the special. And uh, in a few moments, we're going to show you something. I don't know if you know about this or not. Um, Maybe I should tell them what happened before we talk about who's on the show. Bob Hope is on the show. Uh, Dean Martin. Dean Martin. Flip Wilson. Uh, George Isaac Burns. Hayes. George Burns. George Burns. Uh, Wait a minute, I marked up. I don't, I don't want to leave anybody out. Hmm? Wait a minute, I don't... Joey Heatherton. I don't... How could Joey you forget Heatherton? Joey? Carson, you're on the show. Yes, that's me. You're the first... You're I, the first one on the show. I opened the show. I must tell you about Johnny being the first one on the show. Then I have George Burns. I think we mentioned everybody. Bob Hope, so. Dean everybody. Martin, Flip what? Wilson. As a matter of fact, my show actually starts at the end of Flip Wilson's show because we follow him right. immediately. And that was the opening spot that I That's did, following it. the show. And the very opening of my television show, which you'll see Thursday night, Johnny Carson is just standing like this. And there's no advertising, no billing of the show. He just stands like this. And that's the way the show opens. And Johnny, I must say that you look like a doll. Really? You really did. You yeah. were handsome. You were actually, I never saw you look that good. <laughs> if, you, if you didn't have that little bit of gray hair, you would have looked almost as young as I do. <laughs> I noticed that. Even I was we the youngest together. between you and Bob, and yeah. I was the youngest of all of you, and I'm the one who's got the gray hair. I want to, want to talk to you about that sometime. <laughs> now, let me explain to them what happened, because yeah. I have to set this tape up. I don't know whether you know about this or not, and I called Freddie after the show when I knew you were coming on tonight, yeah. and I said to Freddie, I said, uh, call Irving Fine, and I said, see if you can get a piece of tape that happened that you will not see on the show, and I'll tell you why. Um, I had done the opening of the show, as Jack said. Oh, I forgot to mention Lee Trevino. Lee Trevino, Lee Trevino was, was also on the show. I forget him. I stole golf lessons all afternoon from him. Uh, I had finished the opening spot. Jack had done some jokes. Bob came on later in the show to do some a little routine. And then Bob left. Now, Jack went right on with the show. Uh, the lines that he was supposed to say, and he was talking to the audience. And Bob, who had finished his spot, thought Jack was just talking to the audience. He didn't realize that they were taping, and it was actually part of the show, what Jack was saying. He was talking about George Burns and Bob Hope, very casual. And Bob started doing lines from the side, as you'll see in a moment. And you were a little He thrown. thought, let's yeah. get this clear, he thought that I wasn't on. Right. 
He thought that I was just talking to the audience, waiting for the next scene to come on. But you were doing part of the show. Yeah, he thought I, I and he thought that the show wasn't on then. And now, this is what happened. And here's what happened. Uh, you'll see that they, I was up in my dressing room and heard you uh, yeah. talking with Bob. So here it is. Watch the monitor. <laughs> it's very possible. <laughs> And for your information, Bob, I'm not quitting. I'm the same as I ever was. I know, I know. <laughs> Still with those silk stockings, huh? <laughs> Get out of here, will you, Bob? Yeah. Hey, save the last dance for me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> wise guy. Wait till he needs a liver or something. <laughs> you know, ladies and gentlemen, two of the closest friends I have in the world are George Burns and Bob Hope. And they have never been on my where show the money? where they have... And they, I'm not going back there. And they have never been on a show where they haven't insulted me. Now, from George, I expect it. But from Bob, a man who loves me, who just promoted me to his B Christmas card list. And shut up. Are we all right? Are we all right? Yeah, well, I'm working. <laughs> Yeah. I thought you were just. I'm sorry. I thought you were just ad living. Oh, I'm sorry, Jack. So you do that over again. Yeah, laugh in the right it. place. I'm very. I didn't realize that. He actually didn't know I was on. Can I, can I tell you? I'm serious. It's hard to tell when you're on. Listen. You, goes with the audience. Look, let me tell you. Yeah. They want something. I didn't, honestly, God, I didn't know you were on. Uh, I thought, you know, you used to... Now, wait did. a minute. Listen, you... <laughs> you knew I was on all the time. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm here. Would I come out here at this price and try to kill you? Yes. <laughs> you would. Isn't that awful? I didn't. No, I'm on uh, yeah. You know, you know where the hell my car what? is? <laughs> I can't find my car. What's going on? Out here? I know where your car is. It's in Bob's garage. All I want is my parking ticket yes, validated, would you? <laughs> you didn't know he was on. Hell no. I thought he, I hear that garbage all the time. <laughs> and he's doing the same thing when George you burns and back. And I thought, I thought, I really... <laughs> maybe we can leave this in. Huh? Maybe we can leave some of this in. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's a lot better than some of it I've heard. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Let's leave everything in, but we'll take that out. All right? Now, now I better tell them. Now, now, when now they, the when sad they... part of it is <laughs> that to tomorrow night, when you see this show, you won't hear. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back. We are back. Gee, what a night for lip readers. This is uh... a... <laughs> Listen, anyway. I'm lucky I got here tonight, really. Yeah, well, I, I appreciate you coming. This... The rain, it's awful. I came in really all wet. Yeah. Not on account of the rain. Yeah. I couldn't get to the restroom fast enough. <laughs> I suppose that'll be cut out. No, no. no. 
You may have nothing left tonight. I want to, I want to I'm ask glad you. it wasn't cut out at the time. <laughs> Did you see this in the New York Times? I wonder, your friend, and my friend, but yours for many, many years, George Burns, made an album, and this is from the New York Times, uh, no less, in the uh, music review section from last Sunday. May I say something yes, first? Yes, sure. Then I'll let you read it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, you know how often we've laughed at George Burns singing, and we figured he couldn't sing at all. Now he made an album about two years ago that I thought the kids would go for right away, and they didn't immediately. But right now, the kids are just crazy about his album. It's a smash hit, and this is the review in the New York Sunday Times about George Burns. And I want George, I want uh, Johnny to read it. It really is incredible. It's, it's quite long. I won't read all of it, but it says this LP not only is nostalgic, but is also a musical gem. A 76-year-old vaudevillian can sing the songs of today, or at least five years ago, and he can sing them well. And it goes on and on and on and says it's a joy and so forth and so on. And uh, he talks about, uh, he does Bojangles. Mr. Yeah. Bojangles. Imagine him singing Bojangles, and they love it. He says it's a performance, it. a performance that rivals Walter Houston's classic September song. It's a rave review. That's right. You've heard the uh, whole album, right? I've heard everything. Yeah, everything and that George I ever I sang. I loved his whole album. And I'll tell you what's happened since then. He is now going to give a concert at the Philharmonic Hall in New York City on February 18th. And I'm going to be there to introduce him. He's giving a whole show just on account of his album. Imagine that. I think that's weird. I never dreamed that I would live to see the day that I would introduce George Burns as a concert artist. He's the biggest smash right now that you've ever seen. I think he's going to be with us in a week or so, and we're trying to get him to do something like I couldn't be Mr. Happy. Bojangles I on really the show. I really couldn't be happy. Because, you know, he usually sits in the chair and he throws them away. He sings a few bars and says, that's enough, and goes on. But now he comes out and sings the entire album. And, and Not only finish. that, Johnny, he knows when he gives the concert how to do a full two-hour show. That's so good. he's got something going for him all the time, you know. That's good. You're going to stay with us tonight, aren't you? She's because we have funny. a young lady on the show I want you to see. I don't know whether you've ever seen her before tonight. Her name is uh, Dilana, uh, Delana Jensen. I know who she is. You know who she is. A great uh, violinist. Absolutely. We thought since you were here, being one of the great violinists, uh, that we would bring a... <laughs> One That's why I hate to introduce George Burns in a concert hall. Yeah? She will be out here. She's remarkable for her age. She is just great. And uh, she is with us. And then uh, Rich Little. And I'm going to tell him that story again that I told him on this show.